Nigeria, we hail thee. Our home, dear native land. So try, but somebody fine brother would be standing. Nigeria, so I'm proud to serve as a remodel land. Hey guys, I was still trying to come to terms with the facts. I was trying to wrap my head around the facts, say we change our national anthem. We readopt the Odin Days national anthem. I, I still get shocked for that one. I like my break my face. This is my heart. Shatter my heart this evening by evicting Jennifer from Nigerian Idols is in line. Hey! What a shock. We never saw this coming. As a matter of fact, we all predicted that Jennifer eh, will join the top five for this season. Woo! She was literally like the best for last week. Okay, must say one of the best. What's it happen now? Well, like I always say, eh, your fine voice don't go save you for this competition. Yo, you know how many fine voices don't fling go us? How many people don't bat and you go us? Your fine voice will not save if you know all your bad sides, or you know, you know, you know, you know, gather your fans where you go land your mama the bottle. So many, ah, it pain me, it pain me. And those guys with a deep sense of sadness, and of course, with little joy here and there, you know, a pinch of joy here and there. I welcome you guys to another video right on my channel. Check out the SD1 go with the case in my name, and of course, um, if, in, in case you are seeing this face for the first time. <laughs> Now, me, the coach, Jacoby Isaac, and you're welcome to this space right here. This is the spot where we love the music and, of course, big fans of Nigerian Idol and all the music talents uh, platforms who come together to air our opinions, to rant, to drag, and to, you know, <laughs> rub minds together and talk about the show. So please like, share, comment, and subscribe to my channel. So, guys, tonight's show was indeed a roller coaster of emotions. I won't even lie. We had a jaw dropping moments. We are all surprised, like Jennifer going home. And they, uh, they revealed to us that um, last week's vote was a total of 17 million votes. Nigerians on a vote, Sha. Hey, that, that, that was really wonderful. But to think that Jennifer would go home like that, like that, like that. We never saw it coming. Well, she was given a platform to also perform a song. She sang Lonely at the Top by Ashake. She did like it was wonderful. It was mind blowing. I won't even lie. All right. She did everything that she could do. Jennifer, I really want to say this, right? I'm a big fan of your work. I'm a big fan of the music. I'm really rooting for you. I know, like Nice rightly said, not be by to win competition. You understand? You really tried for yourself. At least we know you right now. Do you understand? Now go sleep, oh. now go sleep. Do the best that you can do to always be on our faces. You understand? Just be in our faces to ensure that you. They, you can take our time to go and rest and all, but trust me, if you really song right now, we'll stream the song and we'll stream our peace. <laughs> Anyways, guys, let's jump right into the review for tonight. The very first contestant we saw on the show perform was none other than Gracia. Oh my god, Gracia. She did the song uh, Pata Pata, right? I think she did very well. I love the performance. It was wonderful. I love the fact that she embodied the full spirit of an African, you know, entertainer. I love that she fully embodied the African spirit. I love her boldness. I love the costume. Everything was given. The attitude was right. Every single thing was great. And the fact that I think one, one thing that really stood out for me in Gracia's performance is the fact that that song is a very simple song that, you know, had a lot of repetitions going on. Well, and she did greatly with the ad -libs. The ad -lib was excellent. You know, now, some people like say they repeat the core words over and over again. You as a soloist, it's not left for you to, you know, creatively infuse fantastic ad libs where you carry the song along. You understand? And she raised her voice. She, you know, had one wonderful, you know, massive notes that she hits and it was really wonderful. And she called Ender one kind style, one kind, that kind. <laughs> That was really wonderful, okay? The next contestant we saw for the night was the one and only Mayo doing Nobody by DJ Neptunes and Mr. Easy. Well, that was a very wonderful performance. I wasn't actually expecting anything less. Now, Mayo now, Mayo is wonderfully talented, right? Now, my only fear for Mayo is the fact, I love Mayo, I won't even lie, right? I, I'm rooting for him big time. My only fear is the fact that we're here to really see Mayo is, you know, we have to see all the, like the versatility that he brings to the show on the live show per se. Last week he did Afrobeat and this week he's doing the same thing again. Fine, I love the fact that he's able to infuse his R&B style and everything into the performance, right? His head voice, riffs and runs here and there. But don't you think that will also be considered as plain safe? Do you think that is highly competitive enough? Today's own film be really fought, Shah, because I said that the theme for the, tonight's show was um, 
um, African, you know, music, right? But I really had to see Mayo do a song that will make us cry. We're here to, you know, experience the different colors, in, you know, of his vocals. We're here to see him belt, you know, do some other things that I know that he can do very well. It's just being the, you know, ma, do you understand? This nobody, nobody was okay, it was nice, but it's a competition, bro. Well, time will say, not be your voice will save you, do you understand? Just ensure that you get enough voters to vote you in. And if you can maintain this wonderful performance from now to the end of the show, it will be a great way to, you know, you know, you know, kind of win the show. But I'm, I just fear. That is just my only fear for Mario. Otherwise, I think that's a very wonderful performance. Yeah. Well, the next contestant we saw on the stage was none other than Lady Roots with the song Try Me by Tense. I think that was wonderful. I love her voice for the song. I love everything about her performance for the song. But once again, I don't even know if it's is it that Afrobeats doesn't really like it just Afrobeats music will just entertain you but can you really judge it's so difficult to judge from like the kind of songs that they did today it's actually very difficult to judge who, whose song is you know better whose performance is better than the other person's performance do you understand so everything just fall back to your fan base one kind because nothing really wrong with the performance although I, I expect more I don't know how to put it, more presence with her attitude and all that. But it doesn't really matter at this point. At this point, do you understand? I think she did a very best that she could do. And that was a good performance as well, right? I wish you all the best, Lady Roots. The next person we saw for the night was none other than Lamy. Lamy, hey, Lamy took us back to Whiskey Fest this now. I like you, boy. Yeah, I'm sad. I like you. Like I said once again, today should have like, just come like concert. You understand? Lamy was giving, like, he just did on his teas, on his teasy level. <laughs> the rice teas, fresh boy, attitude and everything. But honestly, what about me and Rika Sani pointed out was really true. You understand? I was giving the old attitude, your star boy presence and all that. But it was a little bit lacking in his vocal. I think the highlights for his vocals for me was he, he, he get his little pitch bends here and there, slow. When you see me come around, I got you looking at me. Da, 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 da. I, I can't really explain very well, but it gets some like this little pitch bends here and there, and some nice e cups. Do you understand? That really, you know, serve the vocals for me. That could pass. It's a whiskey song at the end of the day. You don't want to do too much me, me, huh, for a whiskey song. They'll call drag you. If you go to one, I will still drag you. Do you understand? So just, I think it's, it was actually okay, right? All the best, Lamy. The next contestant we saw for the night was Miracle doing uh, Chili Mask. Kedi K. Hey. That was a wonderful performance, honestly. I love the fact that she, you know, picked uh, picked up on the advice that I was giving to her last week about connecting with the audience and engaging. She did that very well this week, and I think I really enjoyed it. The only thing for me, the only small comment I get out with the styling, right? I just feel that she. If I give her a more traditional thing, maybe you just imagine if you want kind wonderful head gear, one kind, you know, colorful outfits, maybe like a skirt or a nika, something more dramatic, you know, would have given this beautiful feel. I love the fact also that she made an attempt to rap. <laughs> like she really did well. She did well, honestly. I love the performance. It was wonderful. Just that my only thing on the costume, I just feel that this year they're not really dressing like last season, season six dressing self, even you know, season seven they're dressed now, they dress Chris now, they're banty, they're dressed now. Season um, eight self still try, but season nine, nobody understand the dressing the way they get in. The styling, never really, like, never really, the mind blowing like that. Do you understand? Yeah, so that was that about that. All the best, Mira. Then up next, we saw David Garland doing Easy by Ricardo Banks. For me, I not to get issue, like, with um, uh, David Garland, right? All his performances have just been, like, you know, back to back, wonderful, right? Although for today on Sha, I was at first, I was like, okay, okay. It was kind of giving, well, for me, I just feel that he was able to show his versatility, which is a very good one. Do you understand? I love the fact that I was trying to, he got a sound like, and I want like Fuji one kind. Like, I was like, okay, okay, but it was wonderful, right? He was able to push himself to dance, do some, you know, that kind of thing. And it was wonderful. Like I said, so this should just like, so just come concert, come enjoy. You can't really judge so well to say, okay, one person not deliver, one kind of thing. It was a very enjoyable show for me. Oh, I won't even lie. Do you understand? It's just that because, because in our competition, we just they won't try to look for oh, oh, not perfect. So even your superstar, they really perfect. Your superstar, we don't vote. They really perfect. They, 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 we don't blow. They, they really perfect. Most we'll true talk. Now, they play that they jump on stage. They sing off key most times. We know. We know. We know how this thing they play. You understand? But as a competition, we don't want to like a local like, in which they find fault. <laughs> 
Then up next, we saw Stevie doing the song Feel by David O. Well, almost Stevie was giving energy. Stevie was giving attitude. It was giving like, almost, you know, it's used to sing and dance with so much energy and still be very consistent in your the delivery of your vocals. Like, almost Stevie tried. Like, he really tried. He was giving that, you know, that vocal, you know, they did not do, you know, not the do riffs and run for a singing, but Stevie was able to incorporate it into his performance. It wasn't really all over the place. He tried and he was giving the right energy. I enjoyed his performance, honestly. So, say, so, say, <laughs> nice for the one. Hey, nice went out well, I did nice before. Can they say, even David for nothing, do part like that. Oh man, I want to say, but the dragon move. Hey, Mr. Nice, what were you trying to do with that statement? Hey, then again, Rika Sani. Next, we saw Chioma doing the music by Omaomi. Uh, well, I think that was a wonderful performance. I love the fact that she could even do that Afro air. Just now, Omaomi did do back in Guinea. She gave her kind of vibe with, you know, very massive Afro. She was giving the right amount of energy. I love the fact that she didn't really do it exactly like the way Omaomi did ours, right? She just incorporated, she fully embodied the song. Although there, was some, there were some notes I was actually expecting her to, you know, to belt and sustain. But overall, like I said, it, it comes like saying a party will just come called groove. Do you understand? was a very wonderful way to you know to deliver a performance right i love the fact that also i came made omami to you know come and sort of like perform the song with shioma and one thing i noted is that omami did not really try to steal the spotlight she also gave shioma the opportunity to you know really express herself she not really like you know cause tv show do you understand she just came out she had fun and it was a very wonderful side to be old thank you guys so much for giving us the show tonight then the last but certainly not the least was the one and only chima it good. See, for starters, the man don't lie, eh? Chima was the best. To me, I consider Chima the best. I think um, the, one of the most outstanding performances for the night. One of the most outstanding performances for the night was Chima's performance. First of all, see with Chima with this. It gives one kind of retro, ethnic African vibe. That kind of give them one kind of head. Oh, they worry you now. What they do you now? What they do you now? Chima was giving in every single capacity. It gave us some kind of. It was making a statement. I see. I literally felt. I want a joke. I want to watch. Watch. I tell you now. So I felt. I was like, what be this? This song was perfect for him. It was a perfect choice of song. Do you understand? It was not all over the place. It was just giving the right amount of energy. I was like, because I would already blow already. Right? Like. No, 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 Chima was, it was a perfect way to help. I'm not trying to give, I'm not trying, I see, I don't need careful. No, no, you can go back and watch the show. You can go back and watch it. Chima gave an excellent performance. He got a standing ovation from two of the judges, Rick Asani and Maomi. Like, it was, it was something else. I really see, guy, I respect you for tonight. What he did tonight, Chima, rest. If we not see Chima for grand finale, if we not see Chima for grand finale, Nigerians, I'm not going to like the taxi. If we not see Chima for grand finale, guys, we will not like the tag team. Do you understand? For me tonight, I feel Chima's performance followed by Gracia, then followed by uh, uh, CV, then followed by... Okay, master for the, the th three of them, their performance there. Eh? Ah, no, no, as right doings, as right. As right doings. That was a very wonderful way to wrap up the show. For tonight. So IK was <laughs> IK, if I in trouble, IK was asking the judges who, what, what their prediction is for the top three for the show. And Nice said uh, for him it was Chima, Gracia, and Chioma. While Rikasani said it's Mayo, Steve, and David. While Mommy said Gracia, Chima, and David. So you, who you feel have the top three for this show? Please drop it on the comment section. I would really love to know. I'm really interested, right? So you will be your top three. If you want to find out who my top three are, join me next week for another fresh and exciting episode. All right, guys. Thank you so much for sticking around with me. I beg, send me your opinion. Because right now, everything about this show is unpredictable. We don't know what they happen. We don't know what they go. Anything can just happen. Anybody, nobody big pass who they fling go us. <laughs> nobody big pass who they fling waiting go us. So if you know so you won't keep your fave from now to the end of the competition or eventually win the competition, go votes! Go votes! Yeah, they run your mouth, they run your they run from blog to blog on Facebook, to so Instagram, to so Twitter. You won't break your leg when they follow up with the drag. If you want me your favorite to win this competition, go vote, small rest. You don't understand. <laughs> Anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching this video. Check Basic Aces is my name. And like I will always say, stay blessed and stay out of the troubles. Bye-bye.